This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Stanley Floyd. Coming up in this week's broadcast, South Bahamas Conference hosts Week of Prayer and SBC wins at Cool Bible Connections. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. In November, Seventh-day Adventists across the world participated in a global week of prayer. The South Bahamas Conference began its virtual meetings on November 8th, where prayer coordinators from throughout our territory led out in daily sessions. The week of prayer readings used were designed to give messages about Jesus Christ and His righteousness. The readings tell of how He seeks to bring home the necessity of uniting our lives fully and totally with Him. Through the messages, attendees were able to see God not only as their Creator, but were led as his children to proclaim the gospel throughout the planet as the only solution to the cosmic conflict. The daily week of prayer readings can be accessed online via our conference website, and the week of prayer will climax this weekend. During the course of this week, we have been having a week of prayer, which is a annual program throughout the world church. And uh, it has been going very well in the South Bahamas conference. We met with a number of the churches, and we prayed, we listened to reports of testimonies of how the Lord has been good to his people, and we spent time going through the reading, answering questions, and just allowing the Lord to spiritually build us up. A week of prayer will end for us this coming Friday morning, and then in our various churches, they will do the week of prayer reading this coming Sabbath. It is our desire to have prayer being the central focus of everything we do as Christians, as disciples for Jesus Christ. We would like to engage all of our members to join us every Wednesday at 12 noon on Word SBC 88.3 FM as we pray for the various needs and concerns of our members. We encourage you to invite your friends, send in your request, and we're going to continue to trouble the throne of God for your needs. The public is invited to send their prayer requests or praise reports to the radio show Push or Pray Until Something Happens at the email something happens pray until at gmail.com. This radio show is aired on the official radio station of the Seventh day Adventists in the South Bahamas Conference, which is Word SBC 88.3 FM, every Wednesday at 12 p.m. The annual Bible connections for the Seventh day Adventist Church are always an exciting time for our youth. Last weekend, the competition for the Atlantic Caribbean Union took place. Among the conferences represented were youth from the Cayman Islands, Turks and Caicos, and the North and South Bahamas Conference. The youth met to test their Bible knowledge on the life of David. At the end of the intense competition, Jocelyn Wood of the South Bahamas Conference was declared the winner. This is the third consecutive win of the ATCO Bible Connection competition for the South Bahamas Conference. So we say congratulations to the coaches and, of course, to our winner, Jocelyn Wood. Jocelyn attends the Living Faith Seventh-day Adventist Church with her parents and siblings. She is a bilingual and a very ambitious 16-year-old senior at Bahamas Academy School, where she is head girl, United Student Movement Vice President, and debate club co-captain. Congratulations, Jocelyn, on a job well done, and we look forward to a successful last lap of the competition to be held by the Inter-American Division. We also congratulate the finalists from the other fields on this accomplishment, Ronique Brown of the Turks and Caicos Conference, Teresha James from the Cayman Islands Conference, and Olympia Miller from the North Bahamas Conference. We'll be right back after this break with upcoming events from within the South Bahamas Conference. Putting God first can be difficult. What can we learn from Solomon, who refused to put God first? Everything started well for Solomon. The weight of the crown led him to ask for wisdom, the one thing he needed most. His request was fulfilled, and God also blessed Solomon's reign with wealth, health, and prosperity. In time, however, Solomon's wisdom turned into rationalization. He used his intelligence to rationalize why he broke many of God's established laws. Solomon used forced labor to build the house of the Lord, as that must have seemed more efficient. 
Solomon married princesses from many other nations so that he could forge peace treaties with his enemies. Solomon built altars to his wives' gods as a way of welcoming them into his kingdom. Solomon built his palace to be three times larger than the temple to accommodate his large household. God has given the laws that lead to long-term prosperity and peace, but Solomon used his intellect to bend them according to his pleasure. Solomon did not put God first, and Israel was divided into two kingdoms within months of his death. Today, highly intelligent people are still rationalizing the breaking of God's law and other of God's requirements, like tithing, for instance. Putting God first means taking His Word seriously in all aspects and following it. The simplicity of a child following a loving parent's instructions is perhaps the best antidote to our own demise. God stands ready to open the doors to health, wealth, and prosperity to many of us according to His plans for our lives. Sometimes God keeps a door shut because our faith and future would be compromised if we were to walk through it. God's faithfulness evokes our response as stewards. If we are faithful with the small things, God will put us in charge of greater things. Solomon refused to put God first. The consequences were terrible for him and the people around him. God's love compels us to put his kingdom first, while Solomon's example is a warning for us today. As we return our tithe and promise, we are challenged to put God first. Welcome back to Adventist News. Here's what's coming up in the South Bahamas Conference. The Atlantic Caribbean Union of Seventh-day Adventists announces its quinquennial mission session to be held on December 8th through 9th, 2021. Delegates will be attending virtually to receive reports, to elect departmental directors, elect the executive committee, and vote plans for ATCU for the next five years. A class continuous certification featuring the Adventurer Curriculum Symposium, or ACS, hosted by the Youth Department of our conference continues online via Zoom. The certification is for youth leaders, master guides, and parents. The Audacity of Faith virtual series also continues with evangelist Dr. Peter Joseph until November 20th. You are invited to log on to the meetings on Sabbath mornings at 11.30 a.m. and nightly at 7 p.m. except Thursdays and Saturdays. Join in for an encounter with Jesus. The services are being streamed on YouTube at the Audacity of Faith Real Harvest Experience, Facebook at the Audacity of Faith Real Harvest Virtual Experience, and on Zoom. To receive more information on upcoming events, please visit our conference website at southbahamasconference.org. There you can also view our news update along with other local programming from our cable channel, ATV658, and read the weekly logos as well as the Adventist page publications from the Nassau Guardian. sometimes suffer from back or neck pain? Are your muscles fatigued or are your shoulders slouched when you stand or sit? If so, you may be suffering from poor posture. Poor posture occurs when the spine is placed in an abnormal position for long periods of time. This causes stress on joints, muscles and the spine. Most daily tasks contribute to poor posture such as lifting heavy bags or purses, using a computer with poorly placed monitor, either too high or too low, texting with your head hung low. Some symptoms resulting from poor posture may include headaches, rounded shoulders, body aches, and a head that leans forward or backward. The Better Health Channel suggests a few ways to improve and maintain good posture. 1. Try the rule of curve reversal. If you have been leaning forward over a desk, try stretching backward. 2. Exercise regularly to maintain muscle strength and tone. 3. When lifting heavy items, 
keep your back straight and lift with your thighs. And lastly, make sure your mattress is supportive enough to keep your spine straight when lying on your side. This has been Patrick Wilson with your health tip courtesy of Adventist Television. And remember, God wants us to prosper and be in good health. Let's go now to Adventist News Network with our news feature from around the world. First in the news, on November 1st, the Seventh-day Adventist World Church launched a new app called Adventist Teams in an effort to grow the church's presence in the digital world. The app will allow members around the world to source and distribute quality biblical content for friends and family in the digital space. Adventist Teams is a result of the worldwide Adventist Church's focus on total member involvement. After a successful evangelism campaign run by Adventist World Radio in 2020, it became evident that church members needed a set of tools to equip and enable them to work together in digital mission activities. Since that time, the Adventist Church has been developing Adventist Teams, an app that hopes to impact the algorithms of social platforms by having thousands of Adventists consume and share the best Adventist content. Anyone can use the app. Once you have been invited and have signed up, you can begin browsing different resources from the local church level to the Adventist Church headquarters and associated organizations for content that is relevant and helpful to your intended audience. Apart from finding existing resources to share, the app will allow users to share their own created content as well. Well, that's all for our Adventist news from the South Bahamas Conference of Seven Day Adventists. We invite you to share what is happening at your church by sending us your news stories and upcoming events by email to sbcadventistnews at gmail.com. To view a rebroadcast of the Adventist news along with other programming or to keep in touch with what's happening in our conference, you can visit our conference website at southbahamasconference.org. Remember to like, follow, and subscribe to our Facebook and Instagram pages as well as our YouTube channel. We appreciate you viewing every week, and on behalf of the production team of Adventist Television Channel 658, we thank you for looking in. I'm Stanley Fillord for the SBC Media Network. Have a great Sabbath.